Terry here, and uh, in keeping with our St. Patrick's Day uh, theme, uh, we are going to make a drink that is not really a cocktail. It's actually a beer thing, believe it or not. I love beer. I used to make beer. Um, not that I used to. I continue to, but I just haven't in a while. It's sort of like being a Marine, I guess. Once you are a brewer, you're always a brewer. <laughs> so um, anyway... So what we're going to do today is we're going to create what has been traditionally known as a black and tan. Now, the black and tan has, um, it has a, a very weird um, history. In, if you go to Ireland, you don't order a black and tan because the black and tans um, were these guys. Uh, who, I have to look because I wrote it down. They're, they're part of um, the British uh, sent over these guys as part of the Royal Irish Constabula constabulatory. Is that where Con the constable comes from? Yes, constable. The constabulary. Uh, constabulary. That's what it is. I had to look it up. All right. So they sent them over there to kind of keep the IRA in, in line uh, when the Irish wanted to, uh, they started their, um, the Irish uh, War for Independence. So, and these guys wore these uh, khaki and then green, which looked like black. Uh, shirts, you know, so they wore like this black and tan kind of stuff. So these guys became known as the black and tans. Hence, they don't really call this drink a black and tan. If you go over there, they call it a half and half. Now, the traditional kind of black and tan half and half is um, Guinness and Bass Ale. I actually prefer the actual half and half. I know this is like really confusing. I use Guinness and harp, which is a lager, right? Bass is an ale, harp is a lager. Um, I like the juxtaposition of the dark with the really light lager. Now, you can use whatever you want. You can use whatever stout you want. You can use whatever lager you want. Everybody uses whatever they want. The difference is, or the, the differentiating thing you need to keep in mind is that there needs to be um, a difference in density. Now, here's the crazy thing. This, the dark beer has a lighter density than this, the light beer. So this dark beer is going to float on top of this light beer. Strange and wild and crazy. I know my dad would always say, oh, dark beer, it's so heavy. It ain't. It's lighter, I guess, because it floats. All right. So I don't know anything about physics. I didn't do great in physics, um, but we're going to, I did, I did great in beerology. So this, believe it or not, this drink is one of the hardest things to pour. I have messed up more of these. You, I can't even count how many times I have screwed this thing up. So I'm hoping that this works. Now, so the one tool that you actually need is a spoon, right? So a lot of times the Guinness guys will give the bartender a spoon, a Guinness spoon. This is a really cool thing. It came from Terrapin uh, Brewery. Now, I've, I got this as a gift. And what it does is it fits right over top of my pint glass, just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour this harp in first. We're going to put this over top. And then we're going to pour the Guinness over top of it. And it's going to layer. You're going to have light on the bottom and dark on the top, if we're lucky. May I tell you why it's a terrapin? Why is it a terrapin? Because for this drink to be successful, you need a lot of patience. And terrapins have a lot of patience and wisdom. Well, it's, you know, the hare and the tortoise. Story. Okay. Yeah. The, the hare on the tortoise. The hare and the tortoise. Oh, the hare and the tortoise. I thought there was maybe a hare on the tortoise that I was not privy to. Anyway, we digress. Let's start the drink. So this terrapin opener also, I mean, this terrapin spoon also has a terrapin opener. So it opens it right up. It's a handy dandy tool. I'm gonna also open the Guinness. Wow, that's got a lot of fizziness in it. All right, so the first thing they say is you should pour with a purpose. You don't mess around pouring it with no head. You want a head on this thing. So we're gonna pour it and we want about half, all right? So this is a pint. I've got two bottles. Let's see what it does. We'll let this go. I'm not quite sure what it's going to do, but we'll see. All right, so now the turtle comes over. Check that out. And I'm going to see if this actually works. And eh, we might want a little bit more of that. Let's put a little more in there because, yeah, 
That looks about right. Yeah, maybe a little more. <laughs> I want that to be great. All right. So now we're going to put the turtle on. Woo -hoo -hoo, look at that. He's like really cute, isn't he? He's just sitting in that beer, hanging out, waiting to get this other dark beer poured on top of him. Let's hope and pray to the beer gods that this works out. Or I will look like the biggest dope. I mean, I've looked like the biggest dope before, but this could actually, you know, prove it. All right, so let's see. We pour it nice and slow. And uh, we check it out. We hope that it doesn't go all over the place. Let's see what it does. I mean, if you mix it, it's not the end of the world. But, um, you know, it's still a blackened tan. Look at the head on this stuff coming up. I'm like killing myself here. But if you notice, there is... It's happening. It's happening. And I won't look like that much of a dope. Not that much of a dope. I'm pouring it nice and slow. That's why like this video, you know, it's going to be really long, but the drink is really short. <laughs> I'm going to let the head settle a little bit. My turtle looks like he's in a bubble bath, doesn't it? It's really cool. Look at him. I don't know what turtles noise make, but. <laughs> I don't think they sound like dinosaurs. Well, they're pretty close to dinosaurs. This is why your friends never make these for you because. Yeah, they take too long and they're really hard. So, so yeah, look at that. Check that out. This is probably the first time that I've been successful with this uh, in, I don't know half a decade every time I make this it doesn't work and uh, I'm so happy that it's working all right we're almost there I'll I'll stop shortly whoa look at it starting to come over <laughs> I've got it all over my uh, nice cover here I'm sure I'll get in trouble all right so let's try this now I'm gonna uh, actually let's do this let's see if we can get the turtle off of there we'll put him away here for now stay over there turtle and there we go this is a half and half I switched them for you <laughs> both of these are made by Guinness harp and Guinness um, this is a half and half aka a uh, black and tan it used to be called a black and tan you notice the amazing layer it is so super cool i will tell you what don't do this in a plastic don't attempt don't attempt this in a plastic glass because it doesn't work i can tell you from firsthand experience it does not you need a nice uh cold uh guinness kind of pint glass and uh check it out you uh you drink it right straight through and this is a super fun thing to make when it happens it makes you so happy can you tell how happy i am can you tell how Cheers to you. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for watching. I want you to have fun for yourself. Live and drink responsibly. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers to you. Stupendous. It's only because you, uh, I'm rolling. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like an earthquake's happening. Yeah. All right. All right. Hold on. I have to. Uh, let me do this. You have your lucky penny for this because this is tricky. I don't have my lucky penny. I have. I don't know what I have. Your lucky brain. My lucky brain. <laughs>